Hi guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, and today we're going to be checking out the Walking Dead All That War Miniatures game from Mantic Games. Now this is a Kickstarter product, um, Kickstarter ran last year, and it has just got its full retail release uh, at the end of November. So this is a copy which I was lucky enough to get off the guys uh, from Mantic at Gen Con. Um, that's why it's a little bit battered, because it travelled back in a suitcase with me. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really cool game. I had a great, great time um, playing some demos over there with uh, Ronnie and the other guys from Mantic. Um, gameplay's fantastic, and the miniatures and stuff look really good. So as you can see straight off from the box, it is based on the comic, not on the TV series. So there's a few um, characters who you you won't see um, appearing, uh, such as Daryl, for instance, is one of the uh, TV show favorites. He won't be appearing in uh, in this game, but um, and some of the other characters are slightly different. Um, the likes of Andrea um, is a little bit uh, a little bit cooler in the comic book version than she was in the TV show. So you got some cool artwork on the front. You got a nice little window here which shows off a few of the miniatures in there. So pop it open. As you can see, the miniatures all come pre-assembled um, in grey plastic. So you don't have to put anything together in order to start playing, so you can crack this sucker open Christmas morning, undo the uh, the tokens, fold out the board, and you'll be ready to go. So, I'll just show you a couple of the miniatures. So here is Rick. There we go, we can get him into, into focus. So, he's armed with a Glock, and he's got a hatchet there. So there will be a little bit of a mold line just on each side. But they're fairly easy to uh, to clean up just with a mold removal tool or the uh, back of a modelling knife. So there's Rick and Carl, and then some of the other survivors. So the boss of the uh, the rival gang there with the pistol, the guy with the baseball bat, and a couple of war bandits here. One with a shiv. And uh, this guy appeared in the comic for one or two panels, I think, um, as he was getting pushed out the door by some other people. And then we're on to a couple of the female walkers. And then we have more walkers up here at the top. Then on the card side of things, We've got the equipment cards, so these you find during the game, um, or if you're playing in skirmish mode, you can purchase these for you guys to start with. So each of them will uh, let you know what the attack rolls and stuff. So you've got guns, knives, baseball bats, you got a lucky hat, so that's Carl, bandages, and whatnot. And then these are your supply cards. So these are what you're trying to find during the game. So you search around for supply tokens, and when you pull up a supply token, you then turn over a card, and it tells you what you find. So some of these are weapons. In fact, they are... Uh, oh, no, yep. Nearly all these are weapons, but you do also have these lurker cards. So this is for when you're searching in a car or something like that. Sometimes you don't find something good, you find a lurker or a walker. Um, who will roll an attack and try and rip your face off. So one of my favorite memories um, from Gen Con demos was uh, having Carl running around searching for stuff and he got attacked by pretty much all the lurkers in the deck, uh, which made the game slightly harder for me. Then we've got your custom dice. So depending on the strength of the attack, you'll use a white dice, a red dice, or the blue dice, which I believe is the most powerful one. It's got more crits and stuff. And then um, you've got your sort of command die here. This I remember getting used for um, whether or not you got infected by walkers when they bit you. So dice in there. Then we've got your event cards. So depending on what threat level the game's at, you always start off as all quiet or low threat. And then things escalate up to medium threat or high threat. So each turn you pull one of these one of these event cards, and that will tell you what happens in terms of which way the walkers are going to go, how many more appear, and the likes of that. 
Then we have the character cards. So these are for the miniatures which are included in the box. So Rick, Carl, Derek, stray event card there, a few of them. Patrick, Sandra, and Liam. So Liam's the guy who's uh, getting pushed out the door there. So Liam is not fantastic. Uh, from what I recall, he runs away really easily. Then we've got your quick start rules. So this is 12 pages long. So this will get you going. And then we've got the full rule book here. So the solo play, the rules for noise and stuff. It's all illustrated with panels from the comic or nice color photos of painted miniatures and stuff in there. So there's a number of different scenarios in here. So that's really nice. Then we have our game mat. So this is just a single sided paper mat. It's 20 inches by 20 inches, but it's painted with some, sorry, printed, not painted, with some, uh, some really nice street detail here um, and trash and stuff like that. There is a deluxe version of these, which comes on a neoprene sort of mouse pad style mat. So you can upgrade from these to those. And then each of the expansions um, for the game, um, which continue along the storyline of the comics, each come with their own mat, so you can expand out to a larger area of the mat. Then we've got our tokens. So we've got the RV, we've got these uh, supply tokens and stuff. The uh, threat tracker here, which is also... Oh no, here we go. Here's the kill zone. So basically... You pop that over top of a walker, and if someone's within the kill zone, the walker can attack them. Um, so you roll attacks against that. And then we've got more tokens. These are your health tokens and barricades. So your terrain. So these are your ruined cars to go with your barricades as well. And some more. And then you've got a nice little pamphlet showing you how the boosters work. So it shows you the first the first uh, wave of boosters here to expand your game out um, and also lets you collect your Mantic points there. So as far as the starter set goes, this has got what you need to start playing uh, with two players with a, um, a selection of the characters from the game um, and a bunch of walkers and stuff like that. So it's all printed on nice card. Um, I would have loved for there to be the mouse pad map in the box game itself, but uh, obviously that would increase the uh, purchase price up quite a bit um, off what it currently is. So down in New Zealand this will cost you $64.99, which is a good price for a standalone box set like this with this number of miniatures and stuff. And uh, as I said, it's, uh, it's easy to learn and it's a lot of fun. So um, it works on the basis of... Um, a booster expansion model um, so you can start off with this and then you can expand out by buying character boosters so each character booster comes with one or more survivors and also come with additional walkers and stuff um, and the boosters come with new equipment cards new character cards and stuff so you can uh, you can expand out your collection you can pick certain characters if you're wanting to do a, a negan themed force for instance when, once those expansions come out you can purchase the guys to make your saviors or if you wanted to have a, a governor themed force you could do that or you could do the the main group by uh, getting rick and michonne and and all those guys so it's a cool little box set. Um, I'm really excited to uh, to have one and uh, to be able to start playing and um, start working on some uh, some painting videos and stuff like that for you guys. So until next time, thanks for watching and happy modeling.